Hey guys, if you've seen me live stream, you might be wondering how I do it because I connect my GoPro to Streamlabs OBS and I can switch between scenes wirelessly. So I'm just going to show you my setup and how I do it. Let's do it. I use Streamlabs OBS, so not regular OBS, the Streamlabs, because it allows me to switch through scenes on my phone. I mean, you can use a regular OBS, but I prefer Streamlabs, and this tutorial will be focused around Streamlabs, how I do it. First things first, you want to add a new scene, which I've already done, and you want to add an NDI source. So we can add an NDI source by going plus icon and right here is the NDI source that will connect to our GoPro. For you it will be a black screen but for me it says webcam offline because I have this little thing installed called action cam to PC. Now this thing is paid for. It does have a 30 day free trial but after that you'll have to pay about $100 but it's a one time purchase so that's good. So if you do decide to get this you'll be able to do this setup. So hit the power icon and that will I don't know, make it work. And then you want to go to your phone, go to your GoPro app, make sure your GoPro is turned on and connected to the Wi-Fi. So you go live stream, RTMP right at the bottom and Action Cam to PC is going to have an RTM RTMP URL and you just want to copy and paste that URL onto your phone and that's going to connect to the application here. So once you've banged in the URL you can just hit go live and hopefully that works. Yeah. So now we have a live feed of the GoPro onto the desktop, which is really sick. And you can obviously add as many sources, as many overlays as you want. And one thing I must say is you got to stay close to the Wi-Fi. If you do this setup and then like travel all the way to the skate park, it's not going to be able to connect and you'll lose the signal. So you gotta stay within, I mean it depends on the internet, you gotta stay within about a 50 meter radius. This is how I switch between my scenes wirelessly. I have a, I should say, I have a Streamlabs controller installed on my phone. And that allows me to just control Streamlabs with my phone. And I can switch through scenes just from my phone. And so if you have a scene, you can, um, scroll down and you can even hide and unhide specific sources and yeah so that's my streaming setup and thanks for watching and see you next time peace